But if you want to discipline your mind to be fixed upon the truth of Scripture, then discipline your mind to only put yourself in position to be fed Scripture. If you want, to be, if you want your life to be driven by the clever philosophies of men, there is a plethora of places for you to find that. But can I say to you from the precepts of Scripture here is that you put yourself and your family at risk. You put yourself and your family in danger. You put your family at risk of wanting to hear the philosophies of men rather than from the oracles of heaven. It's possible in the course of your days that your household will suffer. Some of that suffering will be of natural because we live in a world filled with sin. From time to time, our homes that are pursuing the glory of God will we'll find ourselves in days of great, of great tragedy. What do we do in that day has everything to do with what Paul's saying here as well. We don't rejoice in the Lord in the tragic sufferings that we experience, but we rejoice in the Lord that in this moment when the weight of all of the tragedy is laid upon us, here's our moment to put the glory of God on display. Here's our moment to say to my neighbor, Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's a tragic. Yes, it's hard. Yes, this disease is crippling and it's hard to cope and hard to deal from day to day. Yes, my mind wrestles and I suffer with bouts of depression. And yes, these hardships are real in my life. But I receive them as a moment to put the glory of God on display. I will rejoice in the Lord. 